Okay, I'm Lady Abimbola. Now, based on the um, what we've just seen together ourselves, you know, the track and the, the preview, um, the review on the track, I admit it by Al Kelly. Um, I look at the situation um, uh, more profoundly. I'm not looking at it the way most people are looking at it, finding um, the aggressor, the victim, and all or, or whatnot. And uh, who wants to persecute him or not? You see, uh, the situation with Al Kelly is more of spiritual than physical, because the truth of the matter, and why you see somebody like me backing him up, is because I'm not backing up. Maybe I suspect him to be anything. I'm backing him up because I see the God in this man, and I see the struggle. Uh, you know. In actually focusing on God, well, there are three the few things I picked up. Um, you know, in this, I admit it. One, he said he admits he's not a great. You know, he does not go to church. He admits he's not. Um, he, uh, he believes in God, and uh, he, he he says it's more of a blessing and a cause. You see, that's a sign. Um, you know. Uh, of um it, it's a profound message more of whether you say he's doing you know he admits that he's not a perfect human being he admits that he you know he made some unwise decisions like most of us in our lifetime and if you're 50 51 you're bent to make so many you're bent to have so many records of unwise decisions you know that you made that i mean that he has made like most of us so you see our kind of situation here is um is um a, a a man that has been chosen for greatness by God. It's just like I see him like a prophet of God that is supposed to heal people through his music, is supposed to save people through his music, is supposed to uh to deliver people through his music. He has powerful song like uh, um I've been looking for love in all the wrong wrong places. And now I finally found the God who cares for me. No matter the storm, it was you who helped me face it. And now I finally say, you know, you know that's number one song again. If you go to the song I've been looking for long by Al Kelly, it's a powerful song. Then the storm is over, you know. Um, uh, then uh, another the greatest also um and uh, this song is sang for africa you know so many powerful songs is sang i'm not talking about the one sex 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 uh, bang it grind and bang or, bang or whatever all those ones uh, that's the devil part of him speaking but the god part of him you know so when you see this conflicted situation it's a situation whereby you see satan is fighting so hard to take glory from what does not belong to him he has created Satan God Lucy created no human he created no soul he created no spirit God is the holy creator he kept a soul in our Kelly and he gave him his spirit but as man the greed and the confusion um, make some uh, some renounce their position in God and signs over to the enemy and that's actually what I believe happened in the situation of Al Kelly because he actually exchanged his sanity for insanity why he didn't do it willfully but the situation is that um all these accusations against you i can assure you 85 percent they are all false allegations against him because all these girls were intentionally placed around him because you have um they are not they are leeches from the forces of darkness and these leeches from the forces of darkness they might be controlled by witchcraft spirit marine spirits and all kind of spirit are controlling these leeches and they were intentionally placed around him why because when he was younger even his own family sexually molested him so they've already opened the door in his life for perversion so there is a spirit of perversion in him that has not been healed that has not been delivered and that spirit is the one opening doors to when parents bring their daughters to him because you see it is satan himself that guides all these greedy leeches um a desperate parent to bring their children 
close to somebody that has um uh, it's just like taking uh, a well-cooked meat and bone uh, and keeping it beside an hungry dog it's very unfair because it's like you're setting a trap like i used to watch this uh, uh police trap car i don't know maybe that's what they call it in the state a, a police trap where they will put a car uh on the on the street and you know with keys maybe a beautiful car or whatever on the street and they wait for somebody to steal it you know i mean it's very very funny because they place it in the hoods they place it in the in the ghetto where people are desperate where people are are, are having issues economically and uh it's just like you know i mean you're not going to live there in the next 30 minutes or some few hours somebody's going to steal it you're not going to go back empty that is for sure because you've placed food in the midst of hungry people that is an unfair attempt you know but al kelly in this situation a network has been placed against him and uh, they intentionally did that to ruin him so uh, before i continue please just listen to this message and i'll get back to you thank you hello i'm lady abimbola i'm against narcissistic gang stalkers please help me with the campaign against the gang stalkers the campaign and awareness against the gang stalking programming an evil persecution and harassment against the human race. It has claimed many lives. Please help me. Below are information on how you can donate. Thank you. All your efforts will be highly appreciated. Thank you. Okay, welcome back. Now, uh, now to think about um, Al Kelly as a uh, uh, a man of God, a prophet of God. He's supposed to be a prophet of gospel to use his music to save people, to restore people, to um, to 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 draw people close to God Almighty. But because of this network of um, satanic representatives, the le the so-called leeches, you think, uh, would rat re leeches around him, a whole personalities are uh, representing the forces against him and these personalities representing the forces against him and uh, i think there was even a preacher's daughter amongst them or something like that you know but if a preacher's daughter can be there and you even have the audacity to come on tv and to talk about that i don't know the kind of preacher they are but anyway you know i'm not i'm not bothered about all these people i'm bothered about al kelly you know he's a melanin brother is an anointed uh, man b by God, but um, his mission has been under sabotage and under attack since a tender age in order to abort, 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 to abort his mission here on earth. And the thing, the situation today is all these people around him that was meant to break him, that was meant to keep him in a constant sinful mindset. Um, are, are all part of the network thrown at him because, um, uh, Al Kelly, being a powerful man with a mission, any mission we have is always to the destruction of the defeated kingdom of darkness. So because of that, Satan roams around looking for whom to devour, and he devours those that give him the opportunity. And since there's a, you see, so, so many people have been sexually molested, and because of this, and I think you have to just practice self-deliverance, you confess your sin, after confessing the sin, and you go through self-deliverance, cleanse your body, cleanse everything, and, um, you know, uh, stay away from part of evil or sinful thing. And, you know, just get away from the atmosphere of sin. Because, you see, we, we, are, we live in a system today that is controlled by sexual predators. We see people are very sick in their head. They are sick in their mind. They are horrible. They are just, they are, they are just demons walking. You have all kinds of spirits. You have the spirit of perversion. You have the spirit of... of uh, of all kind of nastiness is going on in the world right now to to destroy the children of God, to destroy the mindset, to destroy the spirit of God's children, to destroy, to steal their soul, to steal their mind. And this gang stalking program, backed up by a system called fascism, the fascism fascism system is a system of harassment onto submission. It's a dictator kind of system. 
knowing that you either listen to what we say or you you know you will be blackballed from the society that is the fascism system is a safe system out of Hitler practiced and destroyed the po the people of God and plan to destroy to wipe out the melanin race from the surface of uh, of the earth is the same system that is going on today the fascist system and the gang stalking program the racist system they are all intertwined they are not different the fascist system is it's rec recruit is using the military it's using the law enforcement agent the authorities and it's using civilians it's grooming people for evil it's grooming people out to afflict out to to destroy other people it's using people for all kind of terrible things and the gang stalking program also is a program that gang stalk people that people of like-minded I mean, like-minded people come together for the destruction of a target so and the, the racist system is a system inculcated to destroy the black the melanin race of course i've already said it in some of my um my video uh, the, the video on racist system that the melanin race is under attack Al Kelly is a melanin one. Number two, Al Kelly is a prophet of God, but the prophet of God that found find himself is just like the rich man's son that found himself in the midst of the pigs. He was eating the food of pigs. I mean, this is somebody that comes from a well privileged family and is eating with pigs. Then he now gathered himself and said, instead of me to continue to eat with pigs, I will go back to my father's house. Where even if I'm taken as a servant. I prefer to be a servant in my father's house than for me to sit here and eat the food that is given to pigs. You know, so Al Kelly is just like that. It's uh, somebody that has been um, 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 relocated from his anointed position to uh, represent uh, Satan, but that can be changed he can be saved you see michael jackson also the last minute he was so demonized he was looking for deliverance and he said he was getting himself more choked up there was a time there was speculations he he, he made a sacrifice with the with the, the with the blood of cows and things like that i think he was just trying to atone for his sins and things like that in his confession because you see if you the more the better we the more we know the better we behave and all michael jackson knows is a, a blood sacrifice all those kind of things so he doesn't even know what God wants because all uh, 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 God Lucy taught them was blood sacrifice and uh, sacrificing blood human blood and things like that so he thought he would sacrifice blood to get to get God's attention but he was just messing himself more and more in this situation Al Kelly somehow I feel I mean it, 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 the hand of God is still upon this man and we must save him forget about whatever is happening whatever has happened either decisions he made or all the leeches and marine and witches that was placed around him to keep him in a sinful mindset it was they were just there to burn away his millions it's not possible that multitude of people surrounded a, a, a person and there was no one that could actually say, let's teach you how to read, let's teach you how to write, let's teach you how to be educated. Why don't you get a, a private... I mean, he could afford 10 private tutors to teach him if he wanted to, instead of all the leeches, on, all, this, all the satanic leeches he had around him. And that's how Satan does. Even he does it to people that are even going to church. So, in his own case, he's not going to church, so he's really exposed. He has been networked one day. You see, sex is, mo is the most powerful thing that can use to destroy you. And that's why you see all the sex predators around. They want to have sex with you. They want to violate you. They want to get you involved in sexual activities. Even if that is not your desire, they want to guide you into that direction because sex is something that Satan can use to easily destroy any life. And that's why if you just want to live for God, avoid people running away from people all this bullshit human being that they are just sold out for satan their life is for satan they are looking for somebody they are they're not going anywhere they are, they are not looking for, to serve god or to respect god so they want to pull you inside that direction you just leave them and their miserable life and let them continue to have their sex far away from you so all these people around him they were meant to keep him in a sinful atmosphere where the holy spirit will find it impossible to connect to him 
Because sometimes when you're just on your own, you are not sinning and at the same time you are not pleasing God. But when you're not sinning and you're not pleasing God, you still have that grace that can fetch you out and pick you out from where you are. But this is somebody that does not have any Christian household that would that would stand in the gap for him. He does not have any um, a minister that truly loves him. The ministers around him probably, oh, because he's, Kelly is a millionaire, that's why they're close to him to get their own share of his millions. And they're just leeches and leeches of all that. Because Satan sets you up for destruction. He wants to, he wants to make you broke, busted, and disgusted. He wants to keep you in a sinful atmosphere. He wants, that's why you see the gang stalking program. They make people lose their job. They want to keep people jobless because they want you to be vulnerable that you'll be easily taken advantage of or that you can easily submit yourself to all kind of fools, you know, that will take advantage of you because of you have to survive. But you don't have to survive. It's better you die with hunger than to sell your soul to Satan. It is better you die in with lack than to actually have Satan have the last laugh over your, uh, over your life. You have people that don't believe in the same God with you hovering around you. They are the demon. They are demon filled. I did a video STD sexually transmitted demon. None of us is perfect. I mean, we are all guilty of sometimes we can be led astray and everything. But when you get yourself back, stay in Christ, stay rooted in Christ, and don't allow anybody to sexually pass any demons in your life to their miserable life because you ask demons of depression can come if you if you sexually involve yourself with somebody depressed or with somebody frustrated or with somebody just miserable, dirty looking, idiot, ignorant people. And when you begin to mess around with pigs, you eat with pigs when you continue to mess around with the bible even says do not throw your prayers before the swine so they will not trample over it when you are a golden child you don't you don't mess around with swines you don't mess, mess around with pigs because when you mess around with pigs they will trample on your peer on your values because they don't appreciate who you are in christ jesus they will take you and rob you in the mud like them al kelly danced around the the pigs he allowed witches he allowed wizards he allow marine spirit representative of satan to network him onto destruction but what he has to do right now enough of all these people hovering around you just choose the few brothers or sisters right now i think you should stay away from sisters few brothers that you feel that really truly loves he, that really truly loves him I think he should just focus on those ones and always try to take some time off for himself to clear his mind, to focus on God, lock himself up in a room and pray to God Almighty begin to restore your mind, don't think about the court case, don't think about, I know uh, if I say don't think about the court case, you're like oh what are you talking about, they're going to send me 70 years in prison, I shouldn't think about it, it doesn't matter, even if they send you 70 years in, in prison, there was a story in the Bible Paul and Silas, it was just praised on worship that got them out of prison it doesn't matter they've not still condemned you there's not too strong charges against you everything going on around it are just speculations they're just public um opinions public judgmental uh words against you speculations upon speculations not no judge i mean everything is just what they say and the police officer that hates your God that wants you to die in in jail but you shall not die but you will live our kelly will not die but live to testify for the glory of god god's heart is still on these people this is the time all christians all over the world you have to show who you are christianity is not just saying going to church and carrying your bible christianity is power because religion is having a form of godliness and denying the power of god but christianity has power and demonstrates the power of god this is the time every christian should come together and say this brother this is not a child molester this is a prophet of god that has been um that has been attacked and gang stalked right from a tender age where he cannot decide and getting growing growing up to be 51 and he cannot read and write you cannot you see we shouldn't even look at what is happening we should open our eyes and look at all our young millionaire boys that we black melanin women have been crying that all this white uh, albinoid women taking away our man we don't you know you have to learn for what is happening now what we should understand is that all this melanin um, albinoid women taking away our millionaire men marries them and dumps them it's not because they're marrying them for love they're marrying them because they see an ignorant man and they make him feel special they make 
him feel love. They collect all his money. He signs over all his wealth. And they kick him out of the house because they never loved him to start with. So they deny us of all this wealth. So how many millionaire or how many men do we have around that is still there that everybody is having a piece of their millions except us melanin women you know so look at this family that they, they, they are all after melanin men i mean all the melanin men you see them with they are the ones they have gold teeth a tattoo on their body definitely ignorant but they are with millions they get their millions they have a child or two for them and kick them away look at tiger woods the same thing the wife got almost i think 500 million from him you know got married to him just a few years and got 500 million well i mean i don't mind waiting with somebody for five five years and having 500 and be 500 million euro read without doing anything just having few to one or two or few, three kids for somebody you know so the, that's what how we should see this thing it's not a matter what has been done or what has not been done God knows the truth. Whether he's guilty or he's innocent, that is not left for us to judge. Now, God has exposed something we melanin should learn from. Most of these of our millionaire men have been taken over by albinoid women, for example, because of the fact that most of them cannot read and write, and they are hiding this truth. So we have to start getting our men and helping them, restoring our men. The Bible says we are the helpers. We have to start helping these melanin men. Because I'll tell you, for example, as a prophet of, of God, that we have to pray him out of this. Because you can't pray for somebody you hate. You need to love him first to pray for him. This, this, this song, I admit, is not a song to tell you that, oh, this and this and this. This song, I, you know, the, at the beginning of the video, and the lyrics at the beginning of the is it's a cry out from a desperate man that feels he has helped so many people that he actually deserves the, something back from them. But, you know, these people were not uh, around him because they loved him. But it felt because they're around him, they love him. No, you, you're a millionaire, of course. You provide for them to eat. You give them a roof over their head. I mean, they just sleep, wake, and put on Brazilian wig and make their nails and everything. And you think, of course, they will pretend they love you. You want to have sex with them? Okay, you want to pee on them? Pee on them. And of course, they, I mean, they, so, many, so many of these girls that they, the daughters exposed them, that my mother was always with money. You know, the other parents had a... Uh, had a um, this sex, sex shop and things like that. I mean, they were all just milking this man dry. And Satan planned this for him. Please, um, this is a broken man. This is somebody that has been a uh, network. Uh, Christians should pray uh, for this man. Uh, Christians should we have to rally around our own uh, because it's not something... Uh, we have to rally around this man and really um, back him up spiritually and pray him out of this. Um, the battle is not flesh and blood, uh, but the battle, the Bible says in the book of Revelation 12, 12, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, we wrestle against principalities and powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world, the spiritual wickedness in high places. This is a powerful prophet of God. But you see, um, he doesn't have enough knowledge of the Christian dom to bring himself out of this. It's relying on us. And I think we have to step in the gap to win the soul back home to Christ where it belongs. And God will ask you, um, any Christian listening to my voice right now, God will request from you, um, instead of judging this man, what did you do? To help him out. What did you do to save his soul? You see, when somebody's going down, um, I know we live in a world where they want to laugh at you and rejoice that you 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 know you're missing it or whatever. But that's not what I see. I don't see what everyone is saying concerning this issue. I see a great and powerful man that has been in bondage for a very long time and that has been kept in an atmosphere of sin intentionally to sabotage his greatness. We have to help him see the God in him. And just like the disciples, they were all ignorant men. They could not read nor write. But when they spoke, they spoke even greater things than a professor of the university. Now we can help this man and make him great again. 
And that's what we are there. We are here for for each other. <clears throat> we Christians, we have to take each other's back. We have to protect ourselves. We have to love ourselves. He's a melanin brother, and we have to take care of our own. We cannot just uh, now. Some of Bill Cosby's accusers um, admit that they were paid to lie against him. Don't wait till this man is in his tomb, and we say, "Oh, look, uh, another one is gone." We can save this man. I am shouting out loud now. We can save this this man if we truly want to stand by him we can make it happen if you truly want it i want it and i will do my own little part you know speaking the words and praying for him in my own private chambers and god almighty i know will take over and um, remember I will, I will close with this and uh, remember the greatest weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed so therefore I encourage you to face your fears, to elevate your mind, and resist every temptation to panic. And um, for our Kelly, look for love in the hands of Jesus, and you'll find someone that will never, ever disappoint you. Come, Holy Spirit, our Kelly needs you. Come, precious spirit, I pray. Come in your fullness of power. Come in your own special way. God, please save this man for your glory. I hand everything over to you. It is not by my might, neither by my power, but by the Spirit of the Most High God. Save his soul and show Satan who is in control. All power belongs unto you and also unto you belongs mercy. Save Al Kelly for your glory. Thank you, Jesus, in advance, because I know you can make the impossible possible. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hello, I'm Lady Abimbola. I'm against narcissistic gang stalkers. Please help me with the campaign against the gang stalkers, the campaign and awareness against the gang stalking programming. An evil persecution and harassment against the human race. It has claimed many lives. Please help me. Below are information on how you can donate. Thank you. All your efforts will be highly appreciated. Thank you. Gang stalking is a criminal act committed illegally against humanity we have lost far too many souls and people to this antichrist program support my campaign against gang stalking if you are neutral in position of injustice you have chosen the part of the oppressor injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere whatsoever affects one directly affects all indirectly it's that is why I believe the best justice targeted individuals can do for themselves is to expose this evil attack against free willed individuals who has been targeted for persecution and regular community harassment. Targeted individuals all over the world are coming out of hiding and speaking up. We declare war against evil. I am happy about this. They won't leave us alone, but we will continue to expose their evil and the antichrist spirit behind them. Hatred of those who are for Christ. And as long as we stick together, we can make the world a better place. Say no to gang stalking. Say no to the destruction of humans. Special thanks to my creator God who has divinely protected and provided and directed me to my sweet Jesus, my Redeemer, my Savior, my Advocate in heaven, never leaving me, to my precious Holy Spirit, who lift up a standard against the principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. I am here today, not by my might, nor by my power, but by the Spirit of the Most High God.